Well, good morning, y'all. This morning, we're going to make another Christmas goodie. Now, I hadn't made as many this year as I usually do, and I guess that's because I'm working. And I guess because I'm working, my grandkids are not here as often to help eat them and Troy, and I can't eat that much stuff. But this is one of the granddaughters. I have four grandsons and one granddaughter. And this is uh, what she always requests at Christmas. And I only make it at Christmas. So today I'm going to make uh, peppermint bark out of white chocolate chips. And I use the Ghirardelli, and I'll show you that, uh, the, cho the white chocolate. And I bought my peppermint crumbles at Sir La Table already crumbled up for me. You can put them in, you can get a bag of peppermint disc and you just want the hard peppermint and grind it in your food processor to little bitty pieces and it works just as well but time was a factor for me this time and I didn't want to go to the store and buy a bag and yada yada so I'm using what I brought home from work with me that I bought at Sur La Table. Now you know I've talked to you all about having some traditions you need to find out what your different family members like and you know you get everything you want yesterday so there's not very many when you Gift giving has become a chore because nobody really needs anything and you have to just search for something to give them. And that's sad because when I was a kid, Christmas was awesome. You were from finally get one something that you've really been wanting. But anyway, everybody eats year around. And so you know what? If you'll find something that they like and make it a holiday specialty, they'll have something to look forward to at Christmas they already got everything else they need that money can buy that you can afford so make some Christmas goodies this is Lauren's favorite she likes the, the peppermint bark with the white chocolate so today that's what I'm gonna make I'm gonna bring y'all along and show you what I'm doing and I hope that you'll make some okay. of your hats. we're gonna make the, the white uh, peppermint white chocolate with peppermint in it and I have to melt the white chocolate chips and I use the Ghirardelli brand Vitamin Kroger, and this is an 11 ounce bag. I thought they used to be 12 ounces, probably did. You melt this uh, white chocolate and you put the amount of peppermint in it that you want. Now, I bought this, of course, Sur La Table, the uh, peppermint that's already cracked for you, but you can put peppermint pieces in your food processor and mince them up real small. But I'm going to use about half of this to one bag, and this is 1.39 ounces. So probably about, I'll measure, maybe a little over a fourth of a cup, and I'm going to see how that looks. And then I'll go from there on deciding whether to add more or not. <clears throat> but I'm going to get these in the microwave and get them melted, and then I'll be right back. And all you do is melt your white chocolate. Add your peppermint pieces to it and spread it out on your cookie or baking sheet. And when it hardens, you just break it up in pieces and you've got um, some white chocolate peppermint bark and it's delicious. Okay, I've got it in the uh, microwave and I'm fixing to microwave it, but I wanted to show y'all another gadget. You see this little thing here? It's silicone. And it's good to sit stuff on in there because when it boils over, you can get it out easier. It washes off. But also, if you put something in there, you can lay it over the top to keep it from boiling up over or to keep the heat in. And I got that with a coupon at Bed Bath & Beyond. That's just another gadget y'all might be interested in. Now I'm going to set this to soften and I'll put it on chocolate chips and it'll get it just right and we'll melt it and then we'll add the peppermint. Okay, my timer it. went off so let's see if it's ready. It is melted so I'm going to add in the uh, peppermint. Stir it up real good. Okay, let me stir that and see if that's about the right amount. I think that's just about right, and I used about half of it. So I'm just going to pour it in my pan. This is a good, nice, um, non-stick 
quarter sheet pan that I got at Sur La Top. And if you like it, you can order online. If you haven't checked out their Christmas sale, you really should check it out. They've got a lot of good, good stuff on sale. Now this is not going to be shaped perfect and pretty. I just spread it the best I can before it starts hardening. And then just break it up in pieces. Now, depending on how much is eaten, I may make another batch of this before Christmas. But I like to make small batches and that way it stays fresh. And I think... I've got sticky fingers, don't I? Alright, let me show y'all up close. See, isn't it pretty with the red and the white chocolate? You can do this in regular chocolate chips, but when you see it for sale in town, it's usually white chocolate. So I'm going to let it harden, and I'll bring y'all back when I plate it up and have it to serve to my grandkids when they come. It's my granddaughter that loves this so well. So I made it for her. In fact, I'm going to see her tomorrow and I'll probably take her a little bit of it to spoil her. Okay, I've got it all broken up and in my dish. It's so rich and creamy and good. The Ghirardelli uh, chips are just wonderful. Now let me tell y'all one thing that I did uh, differently. I had to scrape it up out of that metal pan and remelt it and I put it on parchment and then I cut it into pieces and then lifted it off the peel the parchment off it stuck to the pan and when I tried to get the flipper thing under it it just crumbled so just a heads up uh, put it on parchment that or wax paper that'll make it a lot easier to pick your pieces up okay my friends now you know how to make peppermint bark and it's yummy. It's rich. Those Ghirardelli uh, chips are wonderful. Now, I, I, I told you when I was showing you the picture, but I'm going to remind you one more time. Be sure that you pour it onto parchment or wax paper because it would not come up out of that pan. And the pan said non-stick. So, I guess I should have buttered it. But it's better than having butter on the bottom of my candy to just put it on parchment. So, when I remelted it, I put it on, I just spread it on parchment, and then when it got to where it was hard enough, I actually scored it with a knife, a paring knife, and then picked it up and peeled the parchment off of it. So be sure you use parchment on it. But it's yummy and uh, easy to make, and if you buy it already made, it's pretty expensive. So you're saving some money and you're making something special. Hope y'all are making some special things for your family. Now, I didn't print a recipe card out, but it was a... Uh, I think it was an 11-ounce bag of the Ghirardelli chocolate chips or whatever brand you want to use of white chocolate. And I used probably a little over a fourth of a cup, maybe a, maybe a third of a cup of crushed peppermint. Now that's to your liking. Once you get your chocolate melted, put in, try with a third of a cup, and then if you want it to have more peppermint flavor, go for it. Put whatever you want. But it's just those two ingredients. Very easy to make. And... Um, a nice gift item, put it in a little cellophane bag with a pretty little curly ribbon on it and give somebody a little bite of something sweet. I'm going to make a few more things and uh, they'll be coming up, you know, the rest of the week and then it'll be almost Christmas. So we've got a couple of more videos coming out before Christmas Day. So I hope y'all will watch and use some of the things that I'm cooking. And I hope y'all have a Merry Christmas. Hope you make some sweet memories that'll last forever. And that you do something to make your family coming up after you remember you with fondness. The good Lord bless and keep you. And I'll see you back here in a couple of days.